Hey, what's up, ninjas? Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to sharpen your samurai sword. Step one, get a samurai sword. They're awesome. You should get one. This one is specifically awesome. It has been the first real sword that I've ever gotten. I got it from the Musashi Forge, and it's pretty sweet. Um, so, anywho, uh, before we begin, I'm going to go through a couple main points that you should know before you start this project. The first one is that the professional sharpener dudes are going to tell you that you should never sh sharpen your samurai sword with the exception of having one of those giant couple thousand dollar tables with all of those little sharpening stones that cost a couple thousand dollars each. And the reason for that is you want your samurai sword to have just a solid straight edge. You don't want it to have a blade and then come down to a secondary edge. You just want it straight down, not coming down and then coming in as a secondary edge. They say that that's inferior and bad, but I don't have a couple thousand dollars laying around. So I'm going to show you the cheaper version. So step one, get a sword. Step two, you need to get yourself a lint-free cloth. This is silk, I believe. It feels silky. But I found a little silky bag. I just put it over my whole arm. Because you never want to touch your blade at all. Anywhere along here, you do not ever want to touch this. I had a family member touch this sword specifically. And they actually had fingerprints rusted into my sword. It was horrific. And uh, so I had a lot of work put into this to get all those rust out. There's still some stains on there where it's like, it's not an even finish. It's still shiny and metally, but you could tell where it was rusted. So if you're seeing that on my sword, that's why. It's really sad. Uh, but this, this sword does have... Um, it does have some major uh, battle wounds, as it were. So, step one, grab a sword. Step two, get yourself a silky cloth. Step three, get a sharpener. Make sure it's a decent sized one. I did a review on this one in a previous video. So, go check out that video. Go check that out. I got this one at a major retailer store. Um, everywhere that has, you know, just think of the biggest store you could think of. They have it. Um, anywhere from 7 to 20 bucks have these. This one has a fine side, coarse side. Um, yeah, just grab yourself a sharpener. Make sure it's decent size. You don't want to have one of those little sharpeners be like... You know, get some decent size. They're fairly cheap. And uh, that's about it. Get, get those things and uh, let's get crack a lacking. So, get your silk cloth. Get your sword. And like I said, you never want to touch the blade of the sword ever with your with your hands. So, but I could touch it with the cloth. That's fine. And now you want to picture your sword being in sections. You only want to sharpen one section at a time, so the tip, then this section, then this section, then this section, then this section, and so forth, the way down. Just little bits at a time. You don't want to try to have a big project going. And like I said, make sure that you don't get any dust, any fuzz, any anything like that on your sword. That would be really bad. And um, It'll get your get you some rust stains on it if you could see. Oh, well, that's some rust. Places where it was rusty on there. Um, I used some vinegar and some other things to get it out. Take some vinegar on a cloth and rub it out. The rust will go away. Hopefully, if it's not too bad. I'll have to put a video up later on of how to uh, get some rust off your sword. Hopefully, that doesn't happen, but it does eventually. And keep it well oiled. But anywho, get your sharpener, make a little section where you want to sharpen. And then, 
what you want to do is just very carefully, and they say that this part up here, where it comes in, says this is what you show your enemy. So, they want this to be perfect. Right here, I'm on the fine side, and I take it, just go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, switch it over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the whole way up the sword. Now just keep doing it, that counting to seven on each side until uh, you feel that it's sharp enough, I guess. Um, you want to keep it at a decent angle when you're doing it the whole way and you might want to put a little bit of pressure on it first but eventually ease up the pressure this is just like sharpening a pocket knife only it's a little bit bigger and a general statement a sword is just a giant sharpened piece of metal but to a samurai it is their entire soul so we want this to be perfect a good job take your time but let's put a decent angle on it, if you can see from that angle, the whole way. Alright, just make sure you do the other side coming towards you at the same number. So try seven, seven's awesome. You want the same number because the edge microscopically will have a couple little burrs on it and you want to get those off. Now you just want to do little sections at a time the whole way up your sword so the whole way up your sword to make sure you get the whole sword and that's pretty much the basics of it. But you just got to follow those couple rules go the whole way up your sword just keep checking and if you for a little hint if you shine the blade edge into the light into the window or something, if you, sh if you shine it into the light, the edge, where it's dull, will shine. You'll find a little shiny spot where it's dull. If you look at it into, into the light and at that spot, just sharpen at that. But there you go, that's how you can do it. Fairly easy, fairly simple. Do that the whole way up your sword. And you will have a good time with your super sharp samurai sword. Now, like I said, you can follow those rules depending on how sharp you want it or what you think you're going to use it for. Sword is your best friend or your enemy. This sword has been with me through a lot. It has a couple battle scars right here. It actually hit a piece of metal once. I had to uh, hammer it out and get the get the blade out. But keep good care of your sword. That's how you sharpen it. Keep it get it as sharp as you want it to. For my purposes, having a razor edge is fine, and your sword will treat you well if you treat it well. But that's pretty much it. Make sure you don't touch the blade. Good luck. Have fun. Don't cut yourself, Sonny Boy. And uh, also, um, unless you're professional, whatever, don't try this at home. I gotta say that. But anyway, peace, have fun, and as always, have a nice day. Let me know what you wanna see. Later, guys.